completely artificial intelligence rather than we have somebody answering the customer care to phone number 24 by 7. Uh, chatbots are the answers they are going to be giving us quick election to price, which actually improves the overall experience to really cool down a little bit and waits for the query to be answered. Personalization of communication is another area where uh, artificial intelligence is really making a track to proper communication. By analyzing the data, AI can help uh, companies tailor their messaging to different kind of audiences, market segmentation, improving engagement and bringing brand loyalty. Again, AI is definitely not a replacement for human communication. While it can assist in routine tasks in data analysis, it's ultimately human communication that really builds the trust and fosters the relationship between the company and the customer. Now I come to the challenges part, the adoption of AI technologies, which uh, poses significant challenges that we must address <laughs> if we are to succeed in this era of uh, AI forward public relations. The first challenge for all of us is to understand the role of artificial intelligence in public relations. Many professionals, of course, are familiar with AI being a buzzword or hot topic, the way it's being discussed, the way chat GPT is discussed, it's being discussed in legal professions also, it's being discussed in academic institutions also. So, but many of them may not fully really understand how it actually works and how, what it means. The most important thing for the PR professionals is that we need upskilling and reskilling as far as AI is concerned. In Gonsa was talking that in the 70s when he started his career, how much has changed? This is another class. The profession of PR is starting at the current class that we need to upskill and reskill. One other time when you have a PR degree, you start with an agency and start going. I think this is the time we need to upskill ourselves scale in terms of artificial intelligence because this is very going to transform the way country. Uh, the way the business is going to be moving, the way all businesses are going to be moving, the way communication is going to happen. To leave, fully leverage the power of artificial intelligence in public relations, professionals need to have a basic understanding of technology, its capabilities, and it's also from its limitations. AI is definitely not a one-stop solution for our people. It has its limitations, we'll come to those limitations also. But this requires the organization needs to invest in training and education of the next gen professionals so that they can they are equipped with skills and knowledge which, for which they can use artificial intelligence effectively and very responsibly. Artificial intelligence is not a monolithic technology, it is not just a one software, it's a set of tools and techniques that uh, enable the machines to stimulate human intelligence and behavior. In the context of public relations and corporate communication, AI, of course, as I said, is being you can used to use uh, routine tasks. It can also be used to optimize human decision making and strategic planning by providing insights and recommendations based on large data sets and predictive modeling. Early adapters to this technology those among us who have adapted to this business. It's been just a few uh, months only since Jack GPT has come and has become such a range. Those of them, those of our professionals who are early adapters in this technology are definitely going to have a first mover advantage in this profession. For us, the challenge for those in corporate communication specifically is going to be we need to create communication strategies that are designed to engage with AI driven technology. This requires us to rethink our approach to the content creation. Any content which an organization is going to be putting is going to be leaving a digital imprint, and which artificial intelligence is going to pick up subsequently and then use it to create a narrative. So we need to be very clear what kind of content we are putting it across, and we have to develop strategies which are optimized for artificial intelligence algorithms, such as search engine optimization, why my organization should come and talk, and then natural language processing, the words, the keywords which we are going to be using. Now I come to the ethical challenges, ethical concerns regarding this uh, use of artificial intelligence in population. For example, AI powered chart course and virtual assistant can be used to interact with the customers and the stakeholders, as we said. But then we also raise questions about the transparency, privacy, and accountability of whatever answers you're getting. 
the use of artificial intelligence, a lot of deep fake videos are being created and the fake news articles, are, that can be highly damaging to any company's reputation and credibility. I mean, I can tell you, I've, tried, I've been trying chat GPT for a few months, but the credibility which uh, actually creates the fake narratives, it's absolute that you absolutely believe that it's speaking the truth, where it will be far, far away from the truth. So here the human interface will also come, that human judgment will also have to come. It can put across a set of data sets, 10 versions, 15 versions in front of them, but then it will become the responsibility of the profit communication professional, the public relations professionals to ascertain its credibility. Then it's, it's our responsibility to be, ensure that it's ethical and aligned to our values and principles. I mean, they even made me the managing director of my organization. Chat made me managing director of my organization once I tried it a uh, few months back. So it really picks up certain dates, certain people, and it's improving. I have read somewhere that uh, only around 70% of the data has been fed into for chat GPT to use. And still, many organizations are, are uh, raising privacy issues. There was an article about Samsung uh, raising a concern whether chat GPT should be allowed in official usage because a lot of our internal data is going outside.